Hi, so this week for Honey Honey Lion, we are practicing the skill of retelling. When you retell something, it's exactly what it sounds like. Re you retell the story, you, it just means that you're telling it again. So if you've read a book, if you retell it, it just means that you say all the things that happened in, your book, in the book. If you um, retell something, you need to make sure to include important information like characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution. Now, when I do retelling, I like to do a trick like this. I use my hand, and when I use my hand, it helps me, I can do this in re with reading and in writing, but I can use my hand to help me with retelling. So, I'm gonna use my thumb as the beginning of the story and my pinky as the end. So these three fingers in the middle, those are all the stuff that happens in the middle of the story. So when we practice retelling, I like to use my hand to help me. So now I'm gonna retell the story, Honey, Honey, Lion. So at the beginning of the story, Honey Badger ate all the honey and didn't give any honey to um, Honey Guide. In the middle, Honey Guide started yelling that he found honey. Honey Badger ran a really, really long way until he peeked under a tree. When he got there, he realized that there was no honey. There was a lion. And so at the very end, he ran all the way back to safety and he learned his lesson that he should never break a promise that he makes to a friend. So I used my hand to do all five steps of retelling. When you are reading books during your reading time, practice that with your mom or your dad or your big brother or your big sister, your grandma, whoever is at your house. Practice doing that with them. After you read a story, tell them the beginning, three details in the middle, and the end. And that's a really good way to practice.